Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to the Wasteland. Fallout 4 is on the way, and with it, a massive update to one of the most iconic things out of the Fallout universe. No, not the Pit Boy, and no, not the Vault Boy. Bam. Power Armor. It's been on the box of every single Fallout release so far. Okay, except that horrific bastardization of the franchise for the original Xbox, but we don't talk about that here on this channel. Power Armor in the first Fallout was an unknown. What's inside? Who's inside? What is it? And how do I get one? It was badass. Your first run in with the Brotherhood of Steel out in the waste during a random event is shocking to say the least. Sadly, with the release of Fallout 3, Power Armor was ah, something that was cool, but not really this mech-like bodysuit. I've always seen Power Armor in Fallout as a mix between Iron Man's suit and the Commando mech from Mech Warrior. This is a vehicle that only trained pilots can drive not just some suit you keep in your inventory. Sure, we had mods for Fallout New Vegas that made it feel more epic. Powered power armor comes to mind. It added a fuel system, upgradable parts, onboard voiced computer, all kinds of cool stuff. Fallout 4, though, blew me away with their introduction to power armor. The first shot showing it hanging in the garage shows its scale. It's big, it's heavy, and now it's customizable. Each piece can be swapped out. From how it looks right now, it seems like you can have every suit from the Fallout series. Enclave, Brotherhood of Steel versions, you name it. I can't wait to see how these parts change how the armor behaves and what kind of builds are possible. Check out the jetpack upgrade, for instance. It's based on a recharging system. Kick it off for a short burst of flight, then land and cool your jets. Some of the armored helmets have built-in spotlights. Maybe we'll see new vision modes, like Project Nevada ads in New Vegas. That's another mod, by the way. Heat, EM, low light vision. Now, this is kick-ass. The power armor adds a massive boost to your character's strength, allowing him to, well, take one hell of a beating, but more than that, he could rip off mini guns off of objects like vertebrates. We already know weapons have a melee attack now, like most AAA shooters. Will we see power armor give it a massive melee damage boost? One would think. Give me that power fist hold buster slam, please. So now the question stands, what happens when you need your suit in the field? Can you call it in using the vertebrate? We've seen the protagonist actually call a vertebrate in. Can you hot drop it in? We also see the main character jumping into it in the field. So if it runs out of power, do we just leave it in the wasteland where it is? Does it return home? Is there even a power system like that? Now these are the questions that I've got. Part of me worries Power Armor will be regulated to only certain areas of the game, events that need to be fought through in a scripted manner. That would go against basically everything Bethesda, and to a larger extent the Fallout series, has built over the last decade. Player choice and freedom. So how do you think the new system will work? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see your theories. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, sub to the channel for more Fallout and gaming goodness, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.